Hello students, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Solution to model question paper for the subject VLSI Design and Testing, BEC602. Let us get in and see the questions appeared and also the answers for them. The very first question, very important question is, discuss various types of MOSFETs and their symbolic representations and physical structure with need diagram. You may also get the question like, explain the working of MOSFET. One question will be there on the physical structure and the working. Here they have asked the physical structure and the symbolic representation. Okay. You should know how actually the MOSFET structure will be. Here the P substrate will be the uh, acting as a substrate. Inside P substrate, we are creating two N regions. Then it becomes a N mass transistor. In the N mass transistor, we will be having two N plus regions acting as source and drain. Above that, we will be having SiO2 layer. Above that, polysilicon is there. That is gate. Similarly, in a PMAS transistor, the difference is that substrate will be of N type silicon and source and drain of P type silicon. Then, above layer SiO2 is same and polysilicon is same. This much explanation you need to write while explaining the physical structures. Then, you can write the symbolic representation like this. Since this question is asked for 8 marks, you need to write more explanation and also all the different structures we are going to represent the MOSFETs. You can see this is the simple structure representing N MOSFET and with a bubble if you write at the gate, it is P MOSFET. And without a bubble representation, with an RO mark at the substrate terminal, from the substrate towards the channel, if you put one RO mark, that indicates the PN junction formed inside the transistor. That also shows which is N MOSFET and which is P MOSFET. Here you can see the clear cut explanation and also a separate video is there on this topic. You can visit the playlist and see different videos. And also we will be having one more playlist for uh, VLSI. You can see that old playlist also. There you will get previous year question papers and the model paper solutions as well as in-depth explanation for the topics of VLSI. And this is about the symbolic representation and also the physical structure. This carries 8 marks. Then comes describe how MOSFET is acts as a switch. This is also a very important topic. N MOSFET and P MOSFET both are shown here. If the N MOSFET gate is connected with logic 1, then it will be on. And when gate is connected with logic 0 or 0 volts, the transistor will be off. It means you can see here, when S is equal to 0, S is a gate input. It is 0 means transistor will be off. We call it as open switch switch is open. Similarly, when the P transistor gate is connected to 1, the switch is open. The on case is reverse. When S input at the N transistor is 1, gate input is 1, transistor is on in N MOSFET. When the gate input is 0, P MOSFET turns on. But one more step ahead you need to understand this. N MOSFET will pass good 0, poor 1. P MOSFET will pass good 1, but poor 0. This much of explanation is sufficient with these diagrams for 6 marks. You need to explain why this S is equal to 1 makes the transistor to on. It means because of the gate voltage we apply, the channel will be created. Whatever the voltage you apply from source or drain, it will appear in the other terminal and current started to flow. That is what you need to write in an explanation when you uh, explain it as a switch. Switch open and switch close conditions you need to show. Then draw the schematic diagram for two input NAND gate and explain its operation. This is also a very important question. NAND gate and NOR gate usually asked in the exam many times. A into B whole bar. Remember if it is a CMOS implementation, whole bar is compulsory. If whole bar is not given, you should convert that expression into a whole bar form. Then you need to write the circuit. The simple trick to write this is you have AB inputs, Y is output. A into B means you should have two N transistors with gate input A and gate input B connected in series manner. If it is series, the parallel transistors we need to connect in P network. Above two are the P transistors, below two are the N transistors. If you are connecting in series, it gives A dot B uh, with N transistors. If you connect in parallel in P transistor network, it gives A dot B bar. So at the junction, we will be taking the output Y. Here is the truth table for NAND gate. Two input NOR gate can also be asked. You need to explain which transistor will be conducting 
to provide this one output right similarly zero that is how the six marks will be given if you just write the schematic diagram at the truth table without operation explanation you will not get full marks you can see here explain it operation is there in the second half of the question that is very important then comes the schematic diagrams for the following boolean expressions if you study the circuit diagram how we are going to write you will get 10 marks in this subject circuit diagram using cmos circuit diagram using other logic circuits uh, methods in the subsequent modules are very important and you will easily get 10 to 20 marks just by writing the circuit and explaining its operation you can see here a into b into c plus d into e whole bar is there so as i said if it is a b c uh, with product into then the transistors in the n network that is in the pull down network should be connected in series that's why a b c with gate input are connected in series so these three plus d is there means we need to connect d transistor parallel to a b c then into e into e is for everything a b c plus d that's why a b c plus d is written and then into e is written with this this is the pull down network exactly reverse pull up network need to be connected so a b c is connected in parallel then d is in series with that and for total circuit e will be in parallel at the junction over here we need to take the output this is how the circuit will be designed for any other complex expressions or for nand gate or nor gate or any of the cmos uh, logic circuits you need to study please visit the playlist and try to get the video on that i have explained how the cmos and other logical uh, methods need to be used to construct the circuit in vlsi then comes the second question y is equal to a plus b into c plus d whole bar here a plus b is there so in the pull down network first make a practice of writing pull down network first a plus b is there that's why these two are in parallel first write a b parallel then take c into account it is in series connect in series then plus d for whole thing so plus d will come over here in a parallel network so by writing the pull down network first it is easy to convert a pull up network a into b first write in series and then you can connect c parallelly suppose if you write this a b c over here d can be connected in the top as well if you don't have a uh, space over here by writing d can be written at the top as well there is no issue why because uh, a b c d should be in series in the pull up network that's why you can connect over here and connect to vdd as well and from this junction you can take output y that can also be done and the next one a b plus c into d e whole bar this is a very famous expression they will give a plus b into c plus d e or a plus b plus c into d e like this so you can also practice remember a plus b into c plus d e that is also asked many times so it is also in similar case first a b plus c can be written you can see a b plus c that is in series with d e it is product d e so d e here and then in the pull up network exactly reverse again connect a b parallel first connect c in parallel c in series then write d e d e is series here write parallel first then connect these two uh, top and bottom at the center we can take output y this is how the circuits can be written remember if you know the circuit uh, writing using cmos network you will easily get 6 to 8 marks here it is asked for 10 marks in your exam you may get for 10 marks or else 6 to 8 marks is easily gettable and also if you know the derivation of this uh, cmos current you will get another 6 to 8 marks easily so that is what first part of the video so keep checking the playlist and be a member of the channel to access videos early Thank you.